This is the Four Man Rush. And it'll take all phases to beat the Cardinals. Don't sleep on them, even though they lost to Detroit. Kyler Murray is a threat. Sleep on that kid if you want to. You mean y'all remember what he was doing to our defense last year? I mean, we got to him, but a couple times he made us look he made us look kind of bad. So, um, so yeah, we're uh, we're gonna be playing the old uh, Arizona Cardinals in old B of A, uh, one o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and uh, they come in there, you know, putting up points. I mean, they're they're tenth tenth right now in uh, yards per game, um, rushing yards are they're, they're in the top ten. So I mean, this is this is not gonna be a pushover. It's not gonna be a pushover, folks. Um, so, Kev. Um, uh, how you see this panning out, man? Well, I see this game panning out as again as as, as it goes with any game. You know, the, the tone got to be set in the trenches. But I'm really looking at how our back seven is going to handle this this uh, passing attack led by Kyler Murray, um, DeAndre Hopkins, and the future Hall of Famer uh, Larry Fitzgerald and company. V Larry. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely going to be uh, our toughest ha- toughest task because what's considered our quote biggest weakness is going up against what's considered their strength. Mm-hmm. So this is definitely a day that um, that uh, we're gonna need more than two sacks and seven quarterback hits to uh, affect the outcome of this game. Uh, so I definitely look forward to um, you know seeing how how we handle this uh, from a defensive point of view. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, this could be a game where we're going to see probably a lot more quarterback spying being done because Kyler Murray is is uh he's not afraid to um, take off and run with the ball um, at all from from what I've been seeing on the highlights you know haven't watched any you know game film or anything like that on him yet but um but I've shown that he's uh he's definitely a dual threat Let, make no mistakes about it folks he he definitely is capable of doing both mm-hmm. so. Uh, defensively, I, I think that's where our uh, our bigger challenge is going to come um, w- with this matchup. Mm-hmm. As far as on the um, offensive side of the ball, I feel like that the Panthers can really uh, take advantage of this defense. Um, now, they do have some defensive players to definitely keep your eye on, most notably. <laughs> I have to say this kind of with a little sly grin. You know, because it uh, seemed like right after the Panthers picked Dave Brown at number seven, Mr. Isaiah Simmons of Clemson was drafted right behind his number eight to the Arizona Cardinals. Uh-oh. Yeah, so Uh-oh. this was when this when this schedule came out, it was like, okay, let's see who got the pick right. Because it was it was rumored that had the Panthers picked Simmons, um, the Cardinals was going to take Dave Brown. Mm. So... Uh, this is definitely a matchup uh, matchup to be uh, uh, to be watched as as far as see which one of these um, top ten lottery players what kind of impact they're gonna uh, make on the outcome of this game. Mm-hmm. But uh, offensively, I think our offensive line if there's ever a time for them to get right. I think this game presents an opportunity. Now it does have its challenges. Uh, defensive end Chandler Jones has been over the last five years one of the top elite pass rushers and it's, it's no different coming into this year. Uh, he's definitely someone that's uh, going to cause a lot of havoc. Um, you know, we don't keep, keep him in check, but, um, but yeah, look at, look at this game. I think it's going to be a, a tough test. It's nothing going to be a gimme about this game, but I feel like uh win number two is definitely attainable with this one. Good. Yeah. I, I like, I like that kind of news, man. I like that. I like that. Like that, like that, right there. Uh, Will, how do you think we're going to pan out here, man? Or what? What should we? Uh, what should we look for? This will be a fun game, you know. I mean, Matt Rules Baylor Bears in 2018 beat Cliff Kingsbury's Texas Tech Red Raiders in the Big 12, and then in 2019, uh, Matt Rule or 20 that was 2017 and 2018. That same year, actually, Kyler Murray put up 66 on Phil Snow's defense. Chew, but there was Lord. a talent discrepancy. I mean, Oklahoma was yeah. blue chip elite recruits. Exactly. I, mean, Baylor. I mean, let's be real. Here. Exactly. But as far as the game goes, on offense, I like what the Cardinals have done 
they added DeAndre Hopkins in a trade with the Houston Texans. Mm -hmm. So they got Kyler Murray, that elite receiver, who's going to be a handful for us. So, you know, it's one of those things where you – he's going to get his. You just don't want to break, keep them out the end zone, mm -hmm. went on third down, force them to punt and settle for three. Mm -hmm. uh, Larry Fitzgerald, ageless wonder, still there. I mean, he's going to be a handful to deal with. Sure Maybe is. we see how that goes. And they got good supporting weapons around him. I mean, Andy Isabella, their receiver, runs a 4-2. He's a speed guy that we got to look out for. They got Christian Kirk. I don't know what his injury status is. We'll find out tomorrow. So, I mean, we'll have our hands full with that wide receiving core. And then Kenyon Drake, who's a very good running back, they got replacing David Johnson. That's going to be another challenge for our defense as well. Mm. Uh, but Kyler Murray is where his offense goes. I mean, he's they go as far as he'll take them. He likes to scramble around a lot, and he gets sacked a lot. And it's not all the offensive line's fault. You know, he's trying to extend plays, keep his eyes downfield, and he's you can get after him a little bit. And make some plays there. I think we stacked them a bunch last year. So I think this is another week for Brian Burns and those guys to get after him and have a sack party. So I think big thing with this week, I think you want to win on the early downs and force them into those must-pass situations. And on third down, that's when you can pin your ears back, get after Kyler Murray and try to force him into some sacks and hopefully some turnovers to put our, give our offense some more opportunity. So that's pretty much my keys for the defense this year for on offense. This is a very improved Cardinals defense from a year ago. I think mm -hmm. they're ranked seventh in yards and points. Yeah. But their best player, Buda Baker, is not going to be playing this week. That's going to be a big loss. I think he leads the team in tackles. Mm -hmm. So maybe Isaiah Simmons, they did mention he may get some reps at safety, but I don't know if he's going to necessarily start or see more significant reps than he has been getting. That's something to keep an eye on there. I mean, Patrick Peterson – Argument. He's elite, one of the better corners mm -hmm. in this league, or presenting a challenge for DJ and Robbie there. Mm -hmm. And of course, like Kev already talked about Chandler Jones, he needs no introduction. Hopefully, we'll get Russell Okung back to help offset that. I mean, they got an underrated pair of linebackers who've been playing well this year. Um, Byron Murphy was a cornerback prospect. I really like coming out of Washington. I mean, he's starting now. And then they got, what's his name? Uh, Drake Kirkpatrick from the Bengals and free agency as well. Hmm. So, I mean, it's a it's going to be a challenge. I mean, I think it's a winnable game. You know, we just have to not turn the ball over, finish drives, and then we'll see what we can do. But now that we finished, you know, we ended our losing streak, 10-game losing streak, let's see if we can get a home win. We haven't won at the BOA Stadium in a long time either. Yeah, man. And real quick, um, well, I want to ask you because I was reading on the uh, the Panthers' little, you know, meet your uh, meet your opponent. Looked like the Cardinals' top three safeties won't play in this game. It says starting safeties Buda Baker and Jalen Thomas won't play in Week Four, and top reserve safety Chris Banjo is also in doubt. So, wow. Uh, like I'm, I'm th I was just talking about our tight ends. I mean, you got three; their top three safeties out, and you got a struggling Isaiah Simmons. That's gonna be look like he's gonna be moved to safety out of necessity. Um, I see there said that they brought in T. J. Ward for a workout, which pass coverage wise, I'm not worried about. So nah. I, I think this is a game to you know that possibly our tight ends could get off. And you know, what I'm saying get some some deep plays, you know, with that type of safety play. Um, well, how you think Bridgewater and the uh, and the uh, and the crew can um can take advantage of the the safety um being so thin? Yeah, I think it's the opposite this week. Like I talked about the Chargers, how I felt that the game plan was conservative, out of respect for the elite cornerback duo and the abilities of Joey Bosa. I think with their injuries to the secondary, this could be a more aggressive game plan where you can see a more vertical downfield pass attack now i think you know you want to with the safeties i mean you want to attack the middle of the field so you can get the tight ends down the seams you can run the post routes post dig combinations to kind of put pressure on the free safety make him make decisions he's not used to being back there with the starter out mm -hmm. so i think that'll present a lot of opportunities there i mean the running backs out of the backfield maybe this is the week we unleash bonifon get him some favorable matchups against guys that don't like to cover in space mm. and try to get him out there against the backup third string or, you know, rookie safety and see what he can do there. So I think there's a lot of ways 
to be able to attack that um banged up safety room. Yeah, I wasn't aware that they were that banged up back there, but yeah, that'll definitely present some opportunities for this offense. If there's anywhere, any you know, time to try to break that red zone slump, you know, now's the time. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I was going to touch on, man. Getting in, getting in that red zone, man, and feeding those tight ends. This this might be the game where we see that. And, and again, <laughs> play action, arm out of the backfield. Give him, give him the ball. He will kill catch it, coaches. Give it to him. Shit, man. <laughs> I mean, he had a nice catch in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what about a 14 yarder? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He caught. Oh, hell, if I'm not man. mistaken. Yeah. Oh, so. Right the field. Yeah. Feed my armor, man. Feed him. <laughs> yeah, man. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Um, so, I oh geez, I guess, I guess wow, that was a <laughs> that was clear and to the point, folks. What did you think? Um, so, um, any parting shots, gentlemen? Well, um, <laughs> I was trying to get Will to nod first, just in case I didn't want to cut him off. But uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely, fans. You know, as always, thank you for the support of the Four Man Rush. We don't take it for granted. Uh, definitely keep following us on Twitter, uh, where we uh, we're dropping uh, we dropping it. more knowledge. We're dropping um, video clips where you know we're 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 sharing our, our insight and and you know, our you know our love for the game. Uh, definitely keep checking us out on uh, Tim. You 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 holding it down on the TikTok end and and IG as well. So you know, make sure you uh. Make sure you follow Keep Up With Papa Rush. In the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where howdy, y'all. <laughs> yeah, and um, and like I said, just keep checking out our Four Man Rush website, as always, so you can uh, get the latest blogs from – got some good writers on our team. Oh, and man. They Shoot. definitely drop uh, some information that's going to have you well prepared for the game. So, and um, – and, and definitely keep checking us out on the uh, post game on on Sundays too as well. We uh we uh starting to make noise, so you know we just mm. want you to catch us every opportunity. We got a chance to uh, drop knowledge on you folks. Mm. Word word. Well, yeah, definitely. Don't follow the four man rush Twitter account. We at nine hundred and ninety four followers right now, so six away from getting that first thousand. Mm hmm. So if you haven't already followed, go ahead and do that. And also, I put everybody's handle in the description box, so you can follow everybody who contributes to help, you know, help us all contribute to that page, and just keep up with us. When we're getting a lot of good feedback on what we're doing on social media, yeah, you know, Facebook, I think we're approaching five thousand, yep, and uh, YouTube, I think we're at twenty five, approaching twenty five hundred, yep. Yeah. So we'll just keep trying to, like Matt Roof says, build and see where we go, man. As long as y'all pre- love, like the content, we'll keep trying to put that stuff out. I know that uh, Kev did a great job with the Taylor Moten versus Joey Bosa breakdown today. That's getting a lot of good feedback yeah. on Twitter. Oh, yeah. So you know, let's just keep it up, man. We out here. <laughs> out here in effect, too, back. The best Panther breakdown, best – Panther insight out there. I'm, I'm telling you, you run, run, tell David Tepper that. I don't care who you hired, Dave. They're not as good as us. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh man, hey, yeah, the Instagram account, man. We're coming up on 900, man. So you know, tell you, tell your friends, tell you, tell your kids, tell your wife. Go ahead and follow the follow us on Instagram. Uh, you know, TikTok is pretty much like a, a fledgling right now, but we're. We've just capped, uh, let's see, we're, I think we're at 71, 71 followers there. So, I mean, but again, you know, it's, it's, it's starting to get momentum, you know. We're having fun on there. You know, little little character, little characters, you know, whatever. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> hey, man, hey, Foreman Rush is going to be the place to be, folks, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, but, um, yeah, I, just to recap what the fellow said, folks, Thank you so much. Thank, like, seriously, we we do this we do this as Panther fans for Panther fans, and no other reason. You know that's 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 why our content is always genuine. It's always it's always exact. It's always precise because we're not trying to, you know, we're not trying to prove anything, right? We're just trying to give it to you straight, factual, logical, credible. That's the four man rush, and we appreciate you. Um, so. 
Um, on behalf of uh, Kevin and Will and the rest of the Four Man Rush crew, we'd like to thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate you. Whether you're listening to this podcast in the morning, afternoon, or evening, we hope you guys are taking care of yourself. Um, keeping that mask on and, um, you know, making good decisions out there, no matter what it is. Okay. Um, again, be looking for us um, post game um, after the game on Sunday. Uh, I guess it'll be kind of like around six o'clock ish, Kev. Ish ish. Yeah, I would say that um, game should be over about, about 4 15 ish. Um, would it not have been a huge crowd there? Oh, you know, it shouldn't uh, shouldn't be hard. And by the way, you know, like I said, I'll I'll be there at the game. Uh, Foreman Rush will be represented. Uh, if you guys haven't heard yet, I was selected as part of the uh, Keep the Streak Keep the Streak Alive. Uh, so me and five other fans will be getting a special VIP treatment uh, for this game. Uh, two lower level tickets, uh, fifty dollar credit with Lyft, two hundred dollar Visa gift card. Uh, they're going to be giving my own Panther jersey. Um, my t- um, have a video scoreboard moment, and they say one big surprise. So, cool. you know, looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, man. definitely, uh, I'm definitely going to be um, try to go as much live from the four man rush as I can while I'm there. Make sure my phone is on 100%. <laughs> Just bring that W home with you, too, man. <laughs> Get that dub, please. Please get the W. Two game win streak. Boy, that's going to sound so good. Sweet Caroline. Da, da, da. <laughs> All right, folks. You guys take care of yourself. We appreciate you. And as always, keep out. And that's a clear. Okay. Yeah, the man. last date of the win, November 3rd, 2019. That was Titans, was it? Yeah, last time we won a game. <laughs> yeah, really? Well, these losing streaks are tough, boy. Mm. <laughs> they ain't gone somewhere with them losing streaks. Yeah. yeah. We ain't going to win every game, but, you know, five, six, seven in a row. I mean, come on. <laughs> Stop the bleeding, please. <laughs> She love it, we are in public and we can just chill with my partners and we can go back to my crib and just chill the covers and do we come me and you love us. The Four Men Rush is brought to you by the love and respect of and for the Carolina Panthers and Carolina Panther fans everywhere. Keep pounding. The Four Men Rush is a non-affiliate of the Carolina Panther organization. All thoughts, assessments, and content of this podcast is directly related to the Four Men Rush exclusively. Thank you.